All right, guys, I'm going to do a, uh, a review for you. Basically, what I think of the uh, the Expert Grill Offset Charcoal Grill and Smoker. This is a Walmart grill. Overall, it's it's very, you know, it's, it's a nice grill. I haven't used it yet. A couple things I didn't like about it while building. It does kind of, you know, it's a little flimsy. But uh, a couple things I don't like right off the bat. The bottom here came uh, nice and pre-dented here. I don't know if you can make that out on camera. It came with some nice dents. The bolt that goes through here is stripped, so I have to re-tap it. I didn't strip it. I'm a mechanic. I know how to put a bolt in. But the bolt was stripped. I don't know. Between the dent and then this being stripped, if somebody dropped the box or whatever. But I didn't like that. Easily fixed with, with a new tap. I definitely didn't like this setup here. This is really wobbly. Uh, this is just, this is as tight as you can make it. Um, the hinge here, very loose. Uh, let me see if I can open that for you. Hold on. All right, as you can see from the hinge itself, is very loose just the door itself um, this is not a very quality hinge here so I didn't like that um, so basically what I did is I just screwed it in tight and, and I'm not gonna use it so that was one thing I didn't like um, it's 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 pretty decently made. I mean, it's it's only a hundred and like thirty bucks, something like that. It's not crazy expensive. The biggest downfall that I don't like about it are these grates. You can see they they come out. Um, we'll get into why I don't like them in a second. But I will show you what I do like is. This has a little handle, and you could see the uh, where you put the charcoal kind of swings here. You can just grab this and lift the whole tray right out to dump the ashes when you're using it as a grill. So I really do like that. What I don't like is they have these little tabs here and here and on the back side. So the grill, you're supposed to put it in and put it up against the tab and you put the next one in and you're supposed to line up these bumps so that the spacing is even so we'll put the next one in now what I don't like is look how much space there is I even tried to bend this tab a little to but look at the amount of gap from this tab it's right up against these so what happens is look they move around and then if they cross like this see how it crossed because these move forward and backwards as well so what happens you see like that so if it crosses and it goes like that where this gap is small now this gap is so big, I can reach my hand down inside of it. So I don't really like that. So what my, what I'm going to end up doing is I'm going to line these up just like that and line these up just like that. And I have a welder. I'm gonna tack weld here, tack weld here, tack weld here and here and make this great one piece. So at least when it moves, it moves uniformed as one entire unit. Um, other than that, it, it looks pretty decent. Um, for the price, it's not bad. Uh, I definitely would recommend it for your first 
uh, smoker and uh, I'll follow this video up with a actual test run but uh, these are the things that I didn't like about it particularly so I hope this helped you out um, and whether or not you're you're deciding to buy this particular grill uh, you know offset smoker <laughs>